The father of the gunman speaking out today about his son's rampage. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal is live in Canoga Park. She has a lot more on what he said. Jasmine? Well, Sandra, this Iranian newspaper was delivered to these businesses this morning telling about the horrible massacre there in Orlando with the shooter's picture right on front. And it was here in this very strip mall that the shooter's father, Sadiq Mateen, would come there in the suite you see behind me to film these low budget political programs, giving us better insight into the people closest to the gunmen. Yesterday, I was in shock. My whole family was in shock. The father of the Orlando gunman sat down with reporters following the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. Sadiq Mateen, who is from Afghanistan, says he's also a grieving parent who lost a child, but made no excuse for the unthinkable terror his son Omar unleashed Sunday morning. I don't approve what he did. What he did was completely an uh, act of terrorist. He had in the house. United States is my house. Sadiq says he believes the shooting didn't have anything to do with religion, but the anger his son had toward gays. Law enforcement says Omar Mateen called 911 to pledge allegiance to the Islamic State during the attack. This, but this, the Hamatim. Mateen is no stranger to being in front of the camera. He would often travel to the small Canoga Park TV studio from Florida to create his own political talk show criticizing Pakistan and the U.S. What does he care about the Afghan government? This country give him a home, give him job, give him to survive. I'm a U.S. citizen. I worry more about the country here. Today, an Iranian newspaper with his son's picture on it sat on a magazine stand next to that studio. The day before the massacre, Sadiq even posted a strange video and T-shirt declaring his presidency in Afghanistan. Yet, in this interview, he pointed out his love for the U.S. I am against, I've been throughout my life against terrorism, against injustice, against what anyone can do against the United States. And now I did reach out to the owner of the station here for this Afghan television network. He said he was going to meet me here. He has not yet shown up, but he has said in past interviews to other uh, news news articles that he has never seen here at this station. He has never seen the son who committed that massacre. Yes, man, what about uh, Mateen's family? Have we heard from any of the other family members besides his father? We haven't. You know, the father, of course, has been very outspoken, but we have not yet heard from the mother or even his current wife. They had a child together. No one else has really spoken out.